Well, you've certainly worked hard to get here, and the moment you've been waiting for has finally arrived. You've heard a lot of speeches today congratulating you on your achievement, and we're almost done. And I promise to make my remarks brief so that you can get to one of the best parties you'll ever attend. My goal in these next few minutes is to mark the transition from CGA student to CGA member with the formality of an oath. But first, I want to speak to you about what you can expect from becoming a member of the CGA community. How the association will support you and create opportunity for you. And why now it's more important than ever that you live what we refer to as the CGA life. One of the first things that occurs to me as I look out into this graduating class of more than 400 individuals is the diversity of the group. You've heard many people speak about this to this point. Where we come, come from is certainly varied. And that's because there's not one single way to access our profession. And that's why we continue to be the number one choice for, th for those who decide to pursue a professional accounting career in this province. Each of you has taken advantage of the program's flexibility to enter the profession at different times in your life when you decided that the time was right. The path you followed to get here today may certainly vary from that of your fellow graduates sitting next to you. Shira Moser, for example, our valedictorian, conducted all of her studies, as you've heard, through distance education. The program worked for Cheryl because it offered her the opportunity to conduct her studies outside of the classroom. And today she addressed you, the class of 2011, an honor that she earned by obtaining the highest average in the pace level of our program. This flexibility of access means our profession is comprised of those with international, versatile, unique experiences. And with Cheryl as an example, again, some great managers too. This versatility of our members leads to variability in what we offer, which leads to breadth in our collective influence, and which in turn leads to an incredible shared opportunity. Most of you are joining us today not as inexperienced new graduates ready to make your mark in the world. Many of you have already done so. Many of you have been working in the accounting profession and applying your knowledge to real world business. Some of you completed your studies while raising families. Some of you did both. Many of you have taken advantage of the program's delivery and recognition of international post-secondary institution credentials. Some of you have accessed the program right after high school. And some of you after completing your MBA. Some even after finishing a PhD program. And today you converge here as accountants in Canadian business, as certified general accountants. Given what you're capable of, You've never had a greater opportunity to do work that you enjoy, work that adds value for you intellectually, emotionally, and economically. The designation takes you far and will provide support and security for you and your family. You've never been better positioned to follow your passion and do productive work which interests you. You're entering the CGA membership at a time when the designation is stronger and more influential than ever before. We've never enjoyed such growth in membership, reputation, and credibility as we have in the last decade. Our membership has doubled in size, as you've heard, in the past 10 years. That's the market speaking, and the market speaks volumes about our value. You're also entering the CGA membership in a time of turmoil competition and change in the accounting profession. Accounting standards will continue to change. Capital markets have evolved quickly. New shifts in the profession have accountants focusing on is issues like risk management. And the very nature and structure of the profession in Canada is changing. This is a time where new opportunities will rise for you, and if you're ready, you can seize them. One of the changes is the consolidation of the profession in Canada. Something, as I'm sure you're aware, CGA chose initially not to be part of on a national basis. Those national discussions were terminated after we refused to accept 
imposed preconditions set by others. Now, while we recognize the value of bringing the three Canadian accounting bodies together, we could not agree to national conditions that might harm our members, our students, and consequently, those who rely upon them. Moreover, we felt the values of CGAs are on access to the profession, values that are evident across this stage today, had to be protected. So for such a merger to be a value for CGAs and the broader public, all parties need to come together from a position of strength and with a focus on fundamental principles. Unfortunately, that didn't appear to be the case initially. But this is Alberta. Our shared approach to the profession has always been transparent and unique here. In view of the regulatory space that we proudly share with the two other accounting bodies and the resulting cooperative relationship we enjoy, the most recent discussions in Alberta proceeded with an entirely different tone. And I'm pleased to tell you that we are at the beginning of Alberta-specific discussions on merging the profession here. I expect those discussions to be positive in Alberta, respectful, and mutually beneficial to all of Alberta's professional accountants and their stakeholders. If we reach a proposal for an agreement, it will eventually be submitted to you and your fellow CGA colleagues before being presented to the government. But please let me be very clear here. A merger itself is not assured. A merger of professional accounting bodies has proven to be a challenging undertaking, complicated by emotional, regulatory governance and administrative issues. There are numerous uncertainties. But I am pretty comfortable about our ability to reach an agreement here. I'm still a little uncertain that it can be done elsewhere on a timely basis. Regardless of the outcome of these merger talks, CGA is already a broadly based designation with strength in industry, government, public practice, and the not-for-profit sector. And this is reflected in our growing student numbers and market share. We're very comfortable with our position and growth trajectory moving forward. Canada enjoys the highest functioning accountants, arguably as a result of competition within its accounting profession. And we will continue to provide a high quality product, our members, you, to the business community. If we have it our way, and there's every reason to believe we will, you and those who rely upon you will win either way. We're well positioned to negotiate effectively, equitably, and successfully in the province we live in. Or we can continue on our current path, building our brand and our reputation from strength. But the future is not just about Alberta or Canada. Increasingly, the accounting profession is being impacted by decisions made on the global stage, which makes international collaboration critically important for our members, students, and the public. Our alliances with CPA Australia and the ACCA enable many of you to become, become a member of those bodies and enjoy the benefits of greater international recognition and improved mobility. This creates new market power and influence, creating global opportunities for you, your business, your clients, and your family. The good news is your association has adapted and evolved within the changing world. As you enter into the membership, it will become evident to you that our focus on providing you with an excellent foundation for your professional life. Keeping relevant in today's marketplace is all part of the CGA life. The CGA life encompasses your entire life cycle as an accounting professional, starting today. Take advantage of all the tools offered by your association. They'll help you develop your career, increase your competency, and build your networks. You can take those things and turn them into products and opportunities which matter to the people whose interests you serve. The Association's New Career Pathways Initiative provides career advice and guidance and is just one of the tools offered that can help you advance. I encourage you to take ownership of your development as an accounting professional and seek out the opportunities offered that can take you further in your professional career. Albertans place considerable value on our services and our commitment to maintaining our relevance goes hand in hand with the protection of the public that you hear spoken of. The government of Alberta has created CGA Alberta through an act of the legislature known as the Regulated Accounting Profession Act. 
they would have no reason to give us the authority they have, to give us the control over our brand and our areas of practice, unless they could in turn oblige us to exercise that authority in the public interest, unless we were prepared to demonstrate to them and to all Albertans that we do so. We must also act, of course, in the public interest in order to protect how our brand is perceived. Our fundamental purpose is to deliver value to our members, the public, and the community. Beyond the needs of us as individuals, our goal is to make a difference in the life of Albertans. You're all part of this, part of the valued and respected brand in Alberta. We sell confidence, and our code of ethics aligns us with the public interest. And now that you are part of the brand, your professional behavior in accordance with that code reflects on all of us. There are certain things we ask of you. Through your association, you set the standards by which the CGA seated beside you is expected to conduct herself. Among your colleagues and in the marketplace, you cause those standards to be enforced through your organization. The association would do its part to protect the integrity of the CGA brand by ensuring only those who have fulfilled the obligations of the designation and those who continue to meet our shared expectations can carry that brand forward. As a CGA, you're an independent professional now. There are extensive rules of practice and guidelines dealing with independence when rendering accounting services or professional advice. Adherence to our code requires that you give them attention. But independence in particular is most often thought of as an obligation that CGAs must take most seriously. You're independent of your employer and you can draw on the shared market power and credibility of the CGA brand to support that independence. You now have complete control of your professional life. So that independence is an extraordinarily valuable asset to you. What you bring to the table as an independent CGA professional has incredible unique value. You control it. And together with your association, you build it and protect it. When you chose CGA as your brand, you selected a group of people and an organization engaged in a cooperative effort to promote and sustain our shared reputation. Businesses count on CGAs to provide strategic leadership to their organization, and those letters after your name show you bring value to that organization. So here's your first task as a new member. I need you to make sure everybody knows you're a CGA. You worked hard to earn those letters. It's those letters after your name that will make your employer take note and provide you with opportunities to advance. With all the changes happening in the accounting profession and the business community, it's more important than ever to show how valuable your designation really is. So, on Monday morning, and don't put this off, please, I ask you to do the following. First, if CGA is not on your business card, it's time. Please put it there. Second, if CGA is not on your letterhead and in use in your correspondence, add it there. Third, if CGA is not on your email signature, please add it there too. And finally, hang those beautiful certificates that you've just worked so hard for on your office wall. They're going to look great. Take your position of leadership in society and support your organization and your CGA brand as we build its value and influence. We certainly advertise who we are and you'll see some indirect brand promotion in much of the public policy work that we do as well. But you are our best promotional asset. You are model what an outstanding professional a CGA should be. And those who we wish to attract as clients, employers, or members will take us seriously as a result of you. Now you can also assist us very directly in promoting our brand through student recruiting, public policy development, and the contact which you have every day in your community and your business. No amount of advertising that we can undertake will surpass the impact 
of such a positive direct sale, the sale that you make every day in your professional and personal lives. So let's achieve those basic promotional steps together. There are over 5,000 CGAs in Alberta. If we all do at least those things, it'll make a significant difference. And let's impose some collective self-discipline here too. Remind any of your CGA colleagues who forget. I promise you I will. So let me close by telling you again what you hear from so many others. I'm very proud of you for what you've already achieved. I'm honored and delighted to have you as a professional colleague. And I'm excited by what I know lies ahead for you. I'm also grateful to you. I'm grateful that people of your caliber have honored us by becoming one of us, by becoming a CGA.